I want to tell you all about a supernatural experience that I had today. Today is January the 22nd, 2017. Many of the time when I have supernatural experiences, they don't make any sense at all. Makes no sense. And many of my supernatural experiences are demonic. And people may say, well, are you still in sin? Are you doing the wrong thing still? Let me say this. When I was in sin, persistent and consistent sin, I hardly ever had bad dreams. I really didn't. Now that I serve God, wow, I am really having so many bad dreams or supernatural experiences. And Many of the time you believe that you are having a dream, but you aren't. You are having a supernatural experience. So keep that in mind. So I say dream so you can understand what I am saying. Anyways, I was having this supernatural experience or dream about a dog that I had back when I was a child. And this supernatural experience did not make any sense at all. No sense. Made no sense. So I woke up and this is the crazy thing. I could still see what I was dreaming about near me. So that kind of freaked me out. So I said, demons, I bind and cast you out now. When I said that, I believe I saw a uh, demonic image of a demon or something like that I forget and when I seen this it was like the experience got worse like it was like the attack got worse I guess you can say so I continued to say, demons, I bind and cast you out. Demons, I bind and cast you out. And the more that I said this, the attack grew weaker and weaker and weaker until the demon was gone. So what am I trying to say? If you are having problems with demons, command them to leave. First, you have to repent of your sins first. First. Once you repent of your sins, then you have authority over demons. Does that make any sense? So if you are still in sin, you can't command demons to do anything because you are still in sin. So first, you have to get out of sin, then you have authority over demons. You can also plead the blood of Jesus as well. How do you plead the blood of Jesus? Just say it. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Continue to say this over and over again. That works as well. So, let me say this too. The more that you help people, the more that you minister to people, the more that you are obedient to God, which is key, which is key, the more that you are obedient to God, you better believe if you are doing all of these things, you are going to receive attacks by demons as well. You are. Because look. When you are ministering to people, you are fighting against Satan's kingdom. So, if you believe that you can damage Satan's kingdom and they are not going to fight back, <laughs> you are thinking wrongly. I want you all to understand this. So, when you receive attacks, especially when you are ministering to people, you are obedient to God's word, so on and so on. 
if you are getting attacked, see that as a good thing. I am not saying to accept it, but see it as, excuse me, hold on. See it as a good thing. Because demons aren't going to mess with people who are in consistent and persistent sin because they already have them. So why are they going to waste much of their time on people who are already lost? I really hope that makes sense. God bless.